Okay, so uh, this is the director, Lars von Trier. Uh, during his career from past, present, and future. And um, I was going to do this, uh, this topic for a long time, but I didn't really know what, uh, like, how to bring you into it, or like to, uh, you know, the, what's it called? But last week there was uh, a shooting that was really big. It was uh, in New Zealand. It was like 60 people were killed. Um, what made this this one particularly egregious was that he live streamed it while he shot 60 people. I, I don't really care why he did it or anything like that, but it was just very disturbing to me, and I thought that that was just really sad. So um, that's one of his main goals is to uh, show how society has become uh, more unfortunate. So I don't know how else to put it, but. Um, Lars von Trier, he was born in Denmark, and he was born to two communist nudists, and, yeah, um, his father wasn't, his, he, in one of his interviews, which is, uh, I'm an American woman, he uh, says that his father actually wasn't his real father, and that his mother uh, used him to his father cheated on his uh, father. His mother cheated on his father to with a, with an artist so that he could become an artist. So that's why he uh, is the way he is essentially. And he studied film in um, Copenhagen. So the, f the first trilogy that he made was the Europe Europa trilogy, which is about uh, post-war Germany mostly. Uh, it was mostly just stylistic stuff. It wasn't really that um, important. It was mostly visuals. But then later he, it was the the Dogma ninety five, which was natural, which was more naturalism and combined with melodrama in a way. And that was that movie as well as Dance in the Dark, uh, which was. York movie, York musical, and um, that follows by this one. That was uh, this one is the Land of Opportunity trilogy, which was Dogville and Mandalay, and that was more political um, things. And uh, a Greek American uh, critic named Andrew Saris said, "I can't help but thinking that Mr. Von Trier is trying to." Cast his gaze and disapproval on himself and his fellow intellectuals, be they American or European, for the state we are in currently. And then following that is the the, uh, the depression trilogy, which was about depressing subject matter, which follows into uh, his newest films. Oh, no, this is this is it's another one we call it Melancholia. Falls into his newest film, which was Half Step Jack Built, which is a serial killer drama. And, uh, Um, 
So this is the critic Armin White, which was, he's a black critic. Um, he rejected most of his other films because he didn't think they were very accurate. They were too, um, like, uh, cynical. But he decided, but he recently decided that um, he had a lot to say, Lars von Trier, about the current society that he didn't think previously occurred. And so, that's not, not, not that's it. All right, Richard, what did you think? Um, well, I didn't. I don't think he had like the the proposal statement like how he wanted it, but he kind of did have. Passing. Go. Oh no, I was, I was about to get to that. I was about to say he kind of like did have like the like what he was going to say like his past, present, and future. Um, I don't know, like the whole New Zealand thing was his intro, but it was pretty good. Like it was a good attention advice, for, at least to me. Like, it was paying attention. Um, it was, um, his presentation was good, like, on large quarter, how he did, like, like, the movies, like, the ones that he started with, and, like, stuff, like, the, the ones that, that just a large quarter of them, and I like how he did the clip, it was pretty cool, um, I kind of wish he, like, showed, like, did he shoot, does he shoot the kid? Yes, yeah. It would have been, like, oh, okay, you know? I mean, there's, there's some people would be okay with that. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, he just didn't have a conclusion, and I thought, yeah. Was it was, it was all right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm interested in the topic. I think it's a, a good work topic for a presentation, but it's a little too um, underdone here. It, it needs to be developed a little bit more. <coughs> you need to have a, I think, a more focused perspective on what it is you want to say. Uh, basically, you have a picture, you say the topic, you say a preview, and it, it it doesn't feel much like an introduction. When you do make a reference to the New Zealand experience, <coughs> excuse me, I assume that you were going to be talking about how uh, Von Trier's films um, reflect that kind of uh, brutality and sadness and uh, how, how they, in essence, this event actually kind of is a is a realization of the world that Von Trier sees or something along those lines, but I don't think you explained very clearly why it's relevant to the point that you're trying to make, and, and that seems to me like a missed opportunity. Uh, there, is, there is sort of a road map because it's primarily, <coughs> excuse me, chronological. Um, but we do get some information that I'm not sure how important it is, you know, being born to communist nudists uh, and, uh, you know, his whole thing about his mother having uh, an affair with an artist for the purpose of having oh, an artist as a I child. I a video because I thought it would be too long. Yeah, and well, it's, I'm just, you know, it's not exactly clear why that's important. The filmmaking, I think, is the thing that's most important about him, and I think that's what you need to focus on. Uh, it the problem is that it just kind of becomes an inventory of the films. You know, here's his, um, you know, here here's here's his Europa trilogy. Here's the Dogma trilogy. Here's here's the uh, the, the 
sadness trilogy or depression trilogy, you know, that kind of thing. And I thought it was interesting, one of those trilogies only had two films in it, so <laughs> that's, that's a little bit awkward. <laughs> you know, so it, it's just, I, I think you've got a good idea here for the visuals, too. I think the posters, you know, but you need to talk a little bit about what people thought about those films, how they've influenced people, what's different about them. Um, the dogma films are very distinctive in the way they're put together. I haven't even seen them, but I've read about them and heard about them. Yes. And so I know that there is more for you to be saying about these subjects than what you've got in the presentation. It's, it's mostly just like, well, here's this, boom, 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 and here are these, boom, boom, and then here's this, duh, check, check, check. And you're just kind of giving us, like I said, an inventory of the films instead of telling us what it is about his films that is unique and different and worth knowing about and seeing those kinds of things. Uh, like I said, I, I like the idea, the posters are not a bad idea for structuring the speech around and using as the visuals. The video clip that you have at the end that's from his latest film, I, I think it gives us a little bit of a sense of what the film might be like, but because it's, you know, you know, we get stuff that's, it's almost, I guess it's a trailer, you know, or I guess it's a music video, but yeah. there's a, the sequence that we get right at the end is the one that seems to reflect more the kind of perspective or point of view that we're going to get from a film of his type. And if there was a way to edit it down so that's all we were seeing, that would have been probably a better way to go on that particular point. Um, presentation issues, it's not, uh, like I said, heavily emphasized by right now, but the lectern isn't really designed for holding you, it's designed for holding your notes and you just lean on it the whole time, you're all, you're, you're all over it, you know, <laughs> so you, you want to you wanna kind of break yourself of that habit, that's not what it's for, alright, and you need to talk to us. Okay, thank you.